morning. Pray everyone is well. Well. Yes. Good morning, Tiffany. Good to see you. T. Ontarius, good morning. Tangina, good morning. Providence Love, good morning. Hallelujah. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice. Choose to be glad in it. Amen. Good to see each and every one of you this morning. Amen. Always good to be in the presence of, of my prayer family. Isaiah said, you did it without mumbling a word. We 
we thank you this morning, oh God. We thank you this morning, oh God, that you are mindful of us. That you kept us in your mind. You were thinking about us. Thank you, God. We know it wasn't the nails that kept you on the cross. God, it wasn't the wood that reared you upright. God, it was your desire to free us from death, hell, and the grave. And for that we say, thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise your name. How you protected us last night. You kept back the death angel. Hallelujah. And for that, Lord God, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless your holy and righteous name. Bless your holy and your righteous name. There is no God like you. Hallelujah. Thank you that you made us new creatures. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things have become new. Hallelujah. Listen, this morning, this morning we're praying, praying, we're praying, we're praying. We're praying. We're praying. Hey, Mom. It's good to see you this morning. We're praying. We're praying. We're praying to know God's will. We're praying to know God's will. We're praying to know God's will. How many of you this morning say, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know what God's will is. I want to know what God's will is. Listen, you know, we don't ever pray without praying the scriptures. We don't ever pray without praying the scriptures. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. We get an opportunity to know the will of God for our life. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. The Bible says... And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, transformed, that's the Greek word, metamorpho, it's our English word, metamorphosis, it's the process a butterfly undertakes, but be ye transformed, changed, going through the process, be ye metamorphosized by the renewing of your mind to make your mind new every morning. The prefix means re means to do it again. Make your mind new every morning. So be ye transformed by making your mind new every morning. And once you do that, then you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? How do I get to it's the will of God for my life? How do I get there? I have my mind renewed in the Word and listen, as I'm listening for His instruction. I have my mind changed out of the world so my heart can discern his voice, his voice. I pray in the name of Jesus that wherever you are this morning, whether you're in your vehicle, whether you're in your home, whether you're in your kitchen, whether you're in your job, I pray in the name of Jesus that this morning your mind is being renewed in the word. I thank God this morning in the name of Jesus that old things for you have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Today, you've offered up your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, pleasing unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. And by this act of sacrifice this morning, because you've decided to let the Lord determine what to do with your life, because you've given your body back unto God, 
you've given your mind unto God. You've made him Lord. You've given him the right to make the decisions for your life. That there is no good thing that God will withhold from you this morning. I thank God this morning in the name of Jesus that he's revealing his plans, his provision, and his presence for your life this morning in Jesus' name. I thank God, according to Romans 10 and 17, for your faith comes by hearing, and you're hearing by the word of God, that you hear God's voice clearly, the voice of a stranger you would not follow. You know when God tells you to move, when he tells you to stop, when he opens doors and closes others. I thank God in the name of Jesus that he'll meet you in your prayer time that he will reinforce the plans and purposes for your life. I decree and declare and pray for you this morning in Jesus' name that there is nothing, no one, no thing that you prioritize above the voice of God. I'm decreeing and declaring in the name of Jesus that God is making all the crooked paths straight in your life that there is no spirit of confusion. I'm decreeing and declaring over your life this morning in Jesus' name that you know his will, you know his wisdom, and you know his ways. I thank God that your life has been hid in Christ. All the steps, all your steps, all your steps are ordered in the Lord because you're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I thank God this morning that heaven downloads your daily agenda, that you are marching towards destiny, that the enemy has been routed, his voice has been canceled. There is no time wasting for you in Jesus' name. Thank God this morning, glory to God, that he knows exactly what you should do with your past, your present, and your future. That there is no limitations to what God is calling you to do. I'm praying in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God will help you combat frustration, wilderness wandering, hurt, resentment, trauma that comes in to thwart God's plan for your life. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that God will give you the spirit of discernment to be able to recognize those people who have infiltrated your life, who have come to distract you from God's plan for your life. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will give you the courage and the strength to restructure your day, to redefine relationships so that you stay in the perfect will of God. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that God is not the head of your life, but God is the center of your life. From out of him, everything else emanates. Everything else flows. That you deeply depend on him daily to give you the wisdom that's needed to march throughout your day, to plan, to strategize, to organize. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you hearken to God's voice that every day you are being conformed and made into the image of Christ. I thank God this morning for your life that out of obedience, out of pressing towards his will for your life, that the two great commandments become the mantra of your heart they become your mind and your message. That as I am listening and obeying God's voice daily, moving towards my purpose, that I love God with all my heart, all my mind, all my soul, and all my strength. And I love my neighbor as myself. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God is giving you daily provision as you pursue God's will, that he's giving you resources to fulfill your vision, 
all your goals, all your dreams that God is giving you help in the name of Jesus. He's sending you finances, people that are for you, that God is dispensing an uncommon supernatural favor. God is raising up somebody somewhere that use their power, their ability and their influence to help you pursue the will of God for your life. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare that you are being perfected, coming to a place of maturity so that your inheritance, your birthright in the kingdom of God cannot be taken from you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that as you pursue God's will for your life, as you pursue God's will for your life, that you will not be given over to selfishness, to greed, to the inability to produce faith. For Hebrews 11 and 6 says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I thank God in the name of Jesus that as the plan of God is being unveiled, revealed, apocalypsis, in your life in the name of Jesus, that whatever your strengths are, your weaknesses, your shortcomings that get in the way, I'm decreeing and declaring that you've given them over to God. For the Bible is clear that your strength is made perfect in his weakness. And Paul says, therefore, will I rather gladly, I rather gladly glorify, praise, give thanks in my weakness. For then is the power of God, is the power of God unveiled released in my life in the name of Jesus thanking God for you this morning hallelujah that as you pursue the will of God whatever you put your hands to God will prosper it that whatever you touch God will prosper it for those of you all who made moves you made decisions you take taken turns you follow plans and you did it believing that you heard the voice of the Lord but it wasn't the right direction it wasn't the right move I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that God would make it right for righteousness sake that God would make it right for you because you believe that you heard his voice that God would make it right for you because you believe that you were following after his heart in the name of Jesus decreeing and declaring over your life this morning that all the years that may have been wasted, palmer worm, canker worm, the caterpillar, the caterpillar stole from you this morning. Our God is a redeemer. He's a restorer. He's outside of the dimensions of time. Thanking God this morning that God would give you the ability to recover all, to recover a semblance of your youth similar of your health of your finances of your family God will restore give you the spirit of Job he give you double for your trouble in the name of Jesus thanking God this morning hallelujah glory to God that you are like the sons of Issachar like the sons of Issachar the Bible said that they were more noble and all their brothers and sisters because they could discern the times and the seasons for their life. So lift your hands and say, thank you, Lord Jesus, that you've made me like the sons of Issachar. I know how to discern the times and seasons because I know your voice, because I know the will of God for my life. I know how to go in and I know how to come out. I know how to possess my vessel. I will not be moved. I will not be shaken. I will not be perturbed. 
nor will I be fearful as, as I pursue God's will. He promised that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that I shall not fear any evil, for my God is with me. Hallelujah. My God is with me. My God is with me. I shall not fear evil. For my God is with me. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. Paul told me in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, For my God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind in Jesus' name. There go, therefore, I can go pursue and recover up. I am triumphant. As a matter of fact, Romans chapter 8 says, I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. So I'm praying for a conquering spirit to be upon your life as you pursue the perfect will of God for your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The word says, this is the will of God concerning you. This is the will of God concerning you. I need you to say to yourself this morning, no longer will I be held back. No, no longer will I be pushed to the side. No longer will I be pushed down. Will I be pushed out? I'll go after my God with everything that's in me. When I find him, it's like finding a precious pearl. I sell everything that I have to follow after him in the name of Jesus. When I find him, I found my life. When I find him, I found my purpose. When I found him, when I found him, I found everything. He is not only the desire of the nations, he's my desire. He's not only the Prince of Peace, he's my Prince of Peace. Hallelujah, you got to personalize it. You got to personalize what you know about him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, I want to pray for you personally. I want to pray for you personally. Amen. I want you to know the will of God for your life. There is a will for your life. There is a will for your life. There is a will for your life. There is no such thing as illegitimate children. Only illegitimate relationships. No such thing as you being born by happenstance. Jeremiah said in 29 and 11, For I know the thoughts that I have towards you. I already knew that. I'm not trying to catch up and figure it out, says God. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the parts of your body have a purpose, if the wax in your ear is meant to prevent bacteria from getting into your eardrums, affecting your brain, if the hair in your nose is meant to stop bacteria from coming in, if, if your tongue's responsibility is to help you taste food, if your teeth responsibility is to help you chew food, if all of these elements of your body have a purpose and a function, what makes you think that you wouldn't have a purpose? What makes you think that you wouldn't have a divine will for your life? I pray that you find it this morning. I pray that God reveals it. And listen, 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 as before I pray for you, call you by name. It's not outside of you. It's on the inside. Nobody from the outside can reveal it. It only comes from the inside. Nobody from the outside can show it to you. It has to be from the inside. Why? Because they didn't create you. 
and only the creator of a thing, only the maker of a thing, can define the use of a thing, the purpose of a thing, the identity of a thing. And who made you? Genesis 1 and 26 is clear. Hallelujah. God said, Elohim, let us make man in our image and in our likeness, our imago day. God made you. So only he can tell you how you work, how you function, how you move, what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be going. Only the maker. And he's left you an instruction manual. He's left you an instruction manual to help you get started. He's left you an instruction manual. Hallelujah. In here, you'll find the words to your life. In here, you can call a psychic, a tarot reader, your favorite pastor. You can read the book. You can look at the post. You can take the workshop and the seminar. They're all, they're all supplements. They, they can't tell you how your fearful, wonderful image works. Fearfully and wonderfully made by the Creator. And only He can tell you what the will of God is for your life. Some can claim to do it. But they can. Only Jehovah, the Creator. Hallelujah. Praying this morning, Tanjika. Glory to God. For you to, to know and pursue the will of God for your life. In Jesus' name. Praying for you, Papa, this love this morning. That you know and pursue the will of God for your life. Praying for you, Tiffany. Know and pursue the will of God for your life. Praying for your favor that you know and pursue the plan of God for your life. Praying for you, Dr. Preston, that you know and pursue the plan of God for your life. Praying for you this morning, Ma, that you know and pursue the plan of God for your life. Saying good morning, praying that you know and that you pursue the plan of God for your life. Pastor Pam, praying that you know and pursue the will of God for your life in Jesus' name. Pastor Shonda, praying this morning that you know and pursue the will of God for your life in Jesus' name. Tia Terry, I'm praying that you know and pursue the will of God for your life. Pastor T, praying that you know and pursue the will of God for your life. In Jesus name If I miss you It's just because I can't see you I can't see you in the chat So I'm praying for all of our replay viewers That you know and pursue The will of God for your life this morning In Jesus name In Jesus name Hallelujah Hallelujah People say pastor where do I start where do I start? Where do I start? I want to know. I just need to know where to start. I just need to know where to start. It's really simple. We all start from the same place. We all start from the same place. And then we pursue his voice. Where do I start? How do I know what I'm supposed to be doing? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. When you go after that, the floodgates will open it. Your mind and your heart has been given over to God. That's loving God. God will apocalypsis. He will unveil. He will reveal. He will uncover the plans and purposes of your life. And then the rest of your days is following his voice. 
following his voice following his voice following his voice following his voice Thank God for each and every one of you this this morning. Praying for God's safety and protection over you on today, on this magnificent Monday. Know God loves you with an everlasting love. He has a plan for your life. He has a will for your life. You weren't born. You weren't born by mistake. No, you weren't. You were born from majesty you come from the mind of God and there's nothing the enemy can do about it there's nothing the enemy can do about it now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy so the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever it's in Jesus name we pray Amen. Grace and peace be unto you. I'll be back here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. as we pray unto, unto our God. Y'all be blessed.